thank you. So I guess, uh, I think it's the beginning, so I start. Okay, so uh, to begin, first of all, I have to, so, okay, I'm here to introduce Kadian Live first, the mission is that. But before the begin, I want to thank all the community, of course, and the Kadian Live community. In specifically because and Jean Baptiste Mardel and for this point you let me after why I do that. And um, so when they ask me to arrange this meeting, they ask me to talk about what Scadian Live is, where it comes from, how it is reached that it has two hundred thousand um download in for one resident for it way. So uh, I was uh, checking with slides, stuff like that, and certain point I said, but I have to talk about the video editor. So What's the best way it is doing what so a video that I show you now if I can control it. Kadian Live is a community project which aims to deliver a free and open video editing software application to allow everybody to produce quality content in order to increase the democratization of the media. The application is a graphic interface written in C++ with Qt and KDE libraries for the MLT framework written by Dan Dennity which relies on FF, MPEG to decode and encode almost all the video and audio formats that are out today, and which hosts effects libraries like Freo and Moveit for video, and Ladspa and Sox for audio. By following the official documents that we can find on the internet, the project was launched by Jason Wood, who released version 0.2.3 in October 2003. Soon, Kadian Live 0.2.4 followed, but the community did not yet exist and the group was very small. The project stopped for two years. Before the end of 2005, Jean-Baptiste Mardell, who heard that the project would be reactivated, offered his help, and in 2006, he signed the post of the new release 0.3 of the program. From this moment on, he became the main reference point for the project. Version 0.4 and 0.5 are soon distributed, but there is an issue. A refactoring of the code is needed to go forward. The program has to be moved from KDE 3, which is not compatible with MLT, to KDE 4. The rewriting ends in 2008, followed by several new releases, but in 2011, a further migration from KDE 4 to KDE 5 was needed to allow the program to grow. In 2012, a crowdfunding campaign is launched to fund the operation, and before the end of 2014, the goal is reached. Then finally, in 2015, KDN Live becomes an official KDE application. John Baptiste was invited to Academy to present 10 years of activity. The new perspective is to make the project even bigger. Before the end of the year, the first KDN Live Cafe is announced with the aim of getting more people involved. During this virtual meeting, it immediately became clear that in order to grow, KDN Live needed to be cross-platform. The Windows version was announced and 2016 began with a sprint meeting followed by the new logo and the new site. But as soon as the development of new features started, it was evident that the code for the timeline had to be rewritten because it was too old and no longer fit. Everybody knew that the refactoring could take several months or years, but the community did not lose enthusiasm. In 2018, a new roadmap was written, and in 2019, the refactored code was distributed, although some fine-tuning was still needed. To overcome this, the focus of the community in 2020 has revolved around fixing and improving the program. The result of this is the latest version, 20.08, which delivers stability, several new features, and a new interface with five workspaces. Okay, so this is the video I want to present to you. So I guess that is now I have nothing more to say about the, the, the software. I want to show you the software itself. It's where the moment is stuck. Okay, allow. So I am in the software. I would like to check if you see the same stuff I'm watching. 
Okay, this is the project uh, we, I realized to show you the video we just, uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy. We have our, our bin arranged, but we start from, I want to show you better the application. This was my intent, actually, to show you a little bit the application when I'm waiting for questions, etc. So we start a new project and we try to show you this fantastic five workspace we're speaking about at the end of the video. Uh, I thank you, Shana Ransi, for the fantastic voice he put on the video. So this is, as you can see in this corner, up corner, on the left, right, we set this, uh, um, this workspace that uh, are useful for the different step of the work. You can, of course, change the, you can uh, overwrite or so save the layout, you can see, and you create also new slot and reset what is the default set. So we choose to um, use this kind of space for some reason. For example, the login, I hope I'm not going too far. Your camera and microphone and big, oh, shared. Okay, yes, it's just an announcer so check my situation because, okay. Uh, I go back on the program. So um, this is the bin. I uh, inform you that the interface is actually made by, um, by widget so with this is the list of the widget we can have the bar so as you can see there are actually window we can move uh, vertically horizontally i remove this and so uh, actually the widget so this object appears in a different uh, situation uh, in different position for the reason i want to explain it so in the to ingest our material in the, the bin we have different ways with, for example we can open from here we can right click on the bin here or we can we can even import uh, uh, thing for example dragging straight from uh, the uh, it asked me to switch a project because it's uh, interlaced materials it's correct to do um, or in uh, if you are in advanced uh, for example editing we can even drop a, a show you after drop straight away in the timeline and in the, the clip is ad added to a project automatically what is interesting here we have uh, for example here um, a clip with two different uh, audio streams one is uh, you can see the uh, um, environment audio and monophonic and the other was a microphone that was turned off in the moment what interesting in a new for example feature about the uh, the waveform is that you can see uh, when you go here and you can even scrub uh, the audio you can even with control or mouse roll you can even go in this is maybe not the best clip to show because it's not so long now after when we talk about audio i show you better anyway in, uh, in the video clip we have the the audio visualization with if with the clip is more audio we can in the properties select which audio you want to use or merge the, the two together we have the same um option here and i remind you that recently kdn live has a chance to drag just the video the audio on the timeline well, we, i show you this later what's interesting here is that for example if we have a specific indication this maybe is not the most uh, interesting picture maybe someone is talking and i ingest something else we have a reference point here we can add for example a market to put a note for example interesting stuff um, at this point when we need to go back in this point in the clip if we are just to click on the point and have we call, of course we, can, we go back in the point we can of course add remove etc in the second space uh, we have i can ingest more we can go back and we ingest more uh, for example i prepare a folder with some stuff just uh, the six audio so six stream audio some audio uh this is pretty heavy so i don't know we have to wait okay ingest everything and when i waiting that the machine do that i stay back in camera because they told me that uh, the slide could be if everything is working i have no feedback it's okay now when everything is ready okay um, I wait a little bit of time because here there is some also 4K footage that a uh, person helped me to do. Um, okay, I go back to the editing. Uh, so, uh, I can show you some interesting stuff. For example, for example, about the audio in the monitor, we are just not improved. I can show you with other, for example, this one is me that we have the audio as I show you this easier to understand what I mean before. 
Now I go to every audio clip. This is actually the music, for example, I used I used for the clip. What is interesting now? We can scrub the audio. We can scrub the audio. We have this ruler. This ruler is helpful because when we want to drag and drop clip, we can handle the clip from the space, like you can see. But if we want we want to scroll, we can scroll. Always with the control uh, roll up uh, roll, we can also navigate the audio and then if we, if we play of course sorry if we play the waveform follow us what is interesting about uh, i'm not adding anything about it. for example i show you i bring inside some footage that has six out uh, six eight audio streams sorry uh this eight audio stream is because the camera is doing this way and i can show you the properties. So this is, for example, cast camera that uh, use so channels for any purpose. But for example, we can see that we have three full channel and three empty channels. So we can, for example, deselect the channel we don't need. And at this point, for example, we drag. No, I prefer the two flow audio. We can drag drag the two audio just we we want. If someone is inside is a three point edit i, I want to do that here that i remind you that this is the source of all so it is listed what we have one video source in this case two audio source because it's one we've selected but if you want more track for more track and more audio selected we want all the sources for example we implement this stuff that allow you to allow us to select the audio that is to the track so when we decide for example to put the audio, or, um, sorry, to don't put audio here, for example, but put just here. With so we can select where things go. Then, to be simple, this is the audio improvement that it's actually it's uh, allow us to select the stream we want. It was a feature that people ask a lot. If we are in the audio uh, modality, next I want to show you we have this mixer, but if with, for example, the number of tracks, just to show you what happened if I, for example, uh, insert uh, six, five audio tracks. Is our mixer is uh, um, uh, grow with the tracks we need. In the, tra in the mixer, we have the way to call the, as here, the uh, filter for the track. If you want to, oh, sorry, if you want to insert some audio filter for example here we have just for example to drag and drop on the clip and we can add here of course the vol volume can, can be applied also to the track and so we have also keyframe for the track in this way we have a video monitor for our and so we have also um this is not super volume audio but in the in case we have i take something uh, more interesting in my voice speaking that we had before i don't find it anymore it's here so we have for example the representation here not working for the moment this is okay probably it's not a volume enough i put the music probably so but it's supposed to work regularly because it's always worked we have a monitor in this moment this is maybe I have to this is not the best uh, doing live anyway next step is the effect that allow us for example if we want to color uh, a clip we can use for example we are in video filter we have, for example, a transform. You can use that also. We can have on the right click from here. So when we use a transform, we have a very big panel with our keyframes here. For example, we can do stupid stuff like rotating a clip. Uh, and so we see that from point to point, we rotate. Oh, oh. OK, we rotate the clip from point to point, as you suppose to. The last space is the color space that uh, allow us to this, for example, the, I, 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 this moment, this moment as an audio clip. But actually, the idea to put this here is, for example, we have to match 
two different scenes, this could be used as a reference monitor because tell us which is the uh, imaging we have to match. If the clip, for example, is already on the timeline and is treated with some filters, we can, re I remember you that we can select the clip with the filters if we need to create with a library. Um, copy that, for example, test to make a color correction, then we can add the test to our bin and then one is in the in the project we can use i hope is the correct clip because i do a test before and so maybe i rename with the same name and so so this is what i want to say about the workspace coming back so i have to close here okay no this is what it is i have to load back so my video or something uh, and uh, sorry for the inter for interruption. Um, what I want to say that this is the explanation of uh, the new stuff in Kedin Live. I show you the mixer. I show you the fact that we have the monitor or the audio on the way the audio, the, the, the workspace that arranges the to favorize a better uh, workflow and a lot of new stuff i show you the project when i created this video so to show you that it's possible to create professional video with a tool because it's very advanced at this point someone asked me about what is the the, the future of, of the of the problem the future of the program we have a very interesting roadmap for example we are developing this moment the same track transition that is to save so space on the track when we need to fade the cross fade or the, or the transition between clip in the plan, there is also an improved nesting for the future with uh, multiple timelines, it will be possible as soon as possible, and uh, advanced and trimming tools. Then probably we'll try to finish the audit that we already in going direction of multi-channels, also routing and mapping of the channels in the future to make complete the audio environment. And after that, I guess that we go deep in the filters so or secondary correction and reset and uh, readjust the, of the filter, incorporate probably also is in the roadmap is possible, some AI tool like frame boosting, like uh, uh, super resolution, maybe speech to text and what else. On the long, long future, that this is on the short future, because with these three tools I told you, we probably reach the state of the main, main um, tool we can, we can find in the industry. Then in the future, maybe also we can see also there is a guy before, sorry for uh, they talk about incorporate uh, um, KDA in Android, maybe a mobile application, maybe a server application, maybe introduce a VR 360 or stereoscopy, we'll see. But now we have the urgency to reach a level to move from, we are already, to me, adapt for YouTubers, maybe to evolve to even a better, uh, it even needs to mean, uh, for example, next step to me is television production, for example, because uh, it needs to be very reliable and very fast, the software, and uh, the, we are to me, we are almost there. Uh, to say about the, the other software, actually the competitor means, the, 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 not competitor, the, the software, they ask money and they are proprietary. We are not too far, in my opinion, and they have not new implementation, except they are checking just to AI to make automatic editing that for the moment, Google and Adobe mostly are pretty, still pretty amatorial stuff, is not, not, not so promising. promising anyway. We'll see what happens. There's the step so it's short to me to reach, uh, to be there, to be totally professional. So I really believe that the, the, we are on the right way. And what I can say about the open source, uh, in general, open source uh, software in the in the industry of the media, I must say that there are interesting, very interesting projects. That, uh, some in national television already incorporated, for example, Norway television, Norwegian television, and Sweden television, as a work for completely for. Uh, talk shows, news, and uh, broadcasting now uh, mostly of information based on uh, open software the, with, uh, in the center is frequently MLT. By mm, Kevin Love, you know, it's based on MLT, is uh, on the video. And, um, and I see, for example, in Norway and um, Sweden television, they have all complete line of workflow on uh, open software except for the video editor. So we aim to go there as soon as possible to become the video editor or reference for this. Uh, people that choose already open software to implement their own, their own uh, services. So if you, I guess, I don't know, I'm, I'm still always so fast. And
if I consume all the time, so I, if it's, there is some time, so I'm ready for a question. Alison, are you still there? Yep, I'm here. Yep. here. And here. And here. And here. Okay, uh, it was uh, I was too short, too long, too words, too much. It's okay. it was okay. Perfect. Thank you. So, okay. <laughs> I'm ready for question. If no, I question, no, no. No, you're on perfect time. So let's get going with the first question. You have oh, five. Oh, good. No, All right. One. First one. What is your perspective on titling and title transitions? Uh huh. <laughs> in editor has come a long way in the past few years yeah. but it seems preferable to import titles as svgs are there any discussions on advancing how caden live handles these titles okay there is a discussion so i don't know the question now okay whoever is a, thank you for the question i don't know this Made it a bit awkward actually because there is a conversation about the title. Uh, to me, the title has to be a very mm, so compositing composition of static object that you animate in timeline to be seen with it on the music, on the other time, like I do. I animate on the timeline. I have a, actually, I start with slides, so I put the object like to check the story, then I choose the music after. So, anyway, the synchronization between the sound, for example. Uh, I, I use the title. For example, the role that comes up in front inside of FFmpeg, I make a role, a crawl title on, on the title. Then I, with the, with the cropping, I cut the border, but actually scroll naturally position inside it, the title. The problem I found that, for example, I prefer in other software when you when you animation, you extend the time of the title and the animation fit exactly. So, for example, you have a crawl of three seconds, but you need five seconds to extend the crawl automatically adapt to the site. And the, an animation inside the title sometimes create problem to adapt in, to my opinion, but it depends how it's done. The title we have now is a little bit rigid, we miss some undo, some features that are important, and to align the text. Eh? It's no bad, in my opinion. It creates problems because, for example, I use the title created with that, with uh, a composition to change uh, to deform it, and I use another way, and they render me green, so the title has, has to be refined absolutely. But to me, it's not the biggest problem in the moment, so I guess that we have. Uh, uh, anyway, we have a project, Akil, that entered to work on, uh, I guess it was OpenGL to make an animation software. I'm not against the animation title because animated title can import um, presets that other people, community can create. So we can add animation to share, also 3D. So maybe simple uh, default setup to have. Uh, but we'll see in the time. Akil actually say goodbye because he has to go. I know that is. Uh, it's important for him by let a uh, lot of job if someone will collect the uh, legacy we can go forward soon with the title if possible if the community is a secret so more we are better we can do faster as possible absolutely okay all right shall we move to the next question sure of course all right it says do you have statistics on the number of installs Okay, I, I'm not the one who checked this stuff, it's more Eugen that uh, give also the number 200,000 uh, come from a chat in the, in the group that they communicate the number, so I refer to that, it's not even, uh, it's say from 16 uh, April to 16 August, so whether it is uh, 2004, was uh, but I know that Linux is the minority still, and uh, the fact that the community have this number, because uh, we are Windows absolutely now Windows start to be stable. I was very favorable. I don't use Windows absolutely, but the fact that I moved to Linux probably more than five, six years ago completely, except for the editing that uh, on, on on the spot when I have to produce very fast, I need to for the moment to be super editable. Kidney Live is the next step. I guess in during the, the next twelve months we will go forward this way. I will adopt in real production for. Uh, for television uh, on the spot, that means uh, fast, available, stable, and uh, and uh, because sometimes you have to edit really a piece of news in 30 minutes. So to me, that's since time half of stuff finished that we broadcast for maybe a main television like Rhine Italy or the Switzerland television, German television, French television. So this is the so I will do. I will do soon. So this is what uh, it's uh, my next to test it. And so when it will be ready for real, I want to spread uh, more possible. 
because this is the goal, the goal of the open source is uh, to spread and enter everywhere as possible. So this is the idea. Uh, this is the statistic, I don't know. I know that 20,000, 20, I guess, is uh, Linux and 180,000 in the Windows uh, download. I hope that we go cross-platform soon with uh, Mac OS because it can make a difference in spreading because uh, Windows in big uh, companies mostly, but uh, Apple is loved by by people that have uh, big companies or so professionals, uh, people like that. Sorry if I extend, give me the time because I'm invading. Time. The... So we are on the last minute. So yeah. maybe we can squeeze in one last question and the last two that are there, you can take a look in the shared okay, notes. I, I read it, I, I, I take a, to make a synthesis to answer to everybody in one minute. Do you think that's a test again of a professional video editors is so that, okay, this is a real answer. So yeah. I'm ready to use it as soon as possible. And impossible to allow integration with remote cloud. Uh, I, I, but the idea to make a server version could be in the spot. Actually, exactly in my notes, there is already some fun that is making actually project like that because uh, servering could be very interesting when you work on most in the information. So when you're in the spot, you can ingest from the spot and people from the other side. Also for remote working in editing, this is a very interesting topic actually. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, remote cloud AI service. I don't know about AI service. I don't know. I know we have to see. Maybe my opinion is better to integrate already model that exists, already calculated to let the filter work on the local machine for this is my mostly my orientation if possible. What about the coupling the render from the application so we can have a render from, from video rendering locally of them ties a processor? This is more technical aspect. A uh, farm rendering, I guess, is possible to implement, uh, but uh, I don't know if it's on the list actually, could be interesting, but I, I, it's, this is mostly for main, main rendering, so maybe if you make big animation, because actually to normal job, uh, I didn't have some problem with rendering, so to produce, for example, the three minutes and a half, to pure graphic animation with inscription, I have no material, I stay home, I spend writing and taking all, all the assets and everything, I spend less than two days, so it's possible to, and I, I use the preview rendering that is sometimes is, uh, lost the rendering. I finished last question. Oh. Are there any feature you think is essential but currently uh, uh, the, the roadmap is already set to me based on priority. To me now priority is a single thread transition to remove the space and boost the the, the, um, the performances and then uh, uh, have a multiple timeline that is changed completely to me the aspect of the program for multiple reasons. That's all. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I invade other no. space. No. I hope I hope okay. you uh, okay. Enjoy the, the speech. Okay. Um, Thank you very much. I hope everyone else enjoyed it as well. I know I did. Mm. So, so. Thank you for inviting me and uh, thank you everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>